Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And Sunday I had the pleasure of going to the Otherworldly Witches Tea at Mystic Koi here in Jacksonville, Florida, which was being held in support of Jacksonville Pagan Pride Day. And while I was there, I did some interviews that I thought I would share with you today. I hope that you enjoy them. Hi, I'm Melanie Crump, and I am the coordinator of Jacksonville Pagan Pride Day in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we are a subordinate uh, group, a local group of the Pagan Pride Project. Uh, we are at the lovely Mystic Koi. It is a tattoo and piercing parlor, but it is gorgeous. It's not your typical tattoo parlor. It is a very spiritual one. They do cleansings of the whole entire place every single day. Um, they have a very open, welcoming environment so that anybody can come in and feel comfortable and relaxed when they come in to get their tattoo or piercing. Um, today we are having an Other World Witches Tea Time. It is a fundraiser for the Jacksonville Pagan Pride Day, which is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we have an event once a year in September, and it is a free event for people to come to for the community. And we do uh, workshops, we do um, vendors, local vendors, we have nonprofits come out, we um, have a really great time, we do rituals, and the basic concept of the um, event itself is to um, help promote accurate information about paganism and to also get people to um, come together in the community and um, get to know each other and it's a safe fun environment for all ages to come and they can learn that you know paganism is not something to be wary of that it's a beautiful um, rich rich uh, religion for earth-based spirituality uh, our website is www.jackspagan.org we also are on Facebook. We have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Cynthia Roy, and um, I work here at the Mystic Koi Tattoo and Body Piercing, and I'm a member of the uh, Jacksonville Pagan Pride Association. Devin Wilson started this place about two and a half years ago. Um, I helped him um, get things off the ground. He's the owner. Um, I've been working here with him ever since. We do tattoos and body piercing. Um, he and I are both involved in the uh, Pagan Pride Association uh, and the uh, Pagan Pride Day, which is in September. Our tattoo shop, we are a custom shop, which means we don't have sheets of tattoo flash on the walls for you to pick and choose from that's already pre-drawn. Everything here is custom artwork, so the client would bring us ideas and references and we would draw it for them. Um, also, the shop does not look like a tattoo shop. It, uh, it's all kinds of earth tone colors. It's very calm. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a good, comfortable atmosphere to come in and get your, your first tattoo or any tattoo. You can go to mysticcoytattooandbodypiercing.com. You can go to our Facebook page, Mystic Koi Tattoo and Body Piercing, on Facebook. Um, or you could call the shop. Uh, the number is 904-329-4907. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, here at the, um, the Witchy Tea Party this year, uh, we made some fairy food, uh, which everyone can take one or two and take home with them and um, place wherever they'd like, at their home or at their office or at their altar, to uh, attract fairies. And what is in each one of these is seven grains of wheat and one four-leaf clover. And somewhere in here, there is the lucky, I actually found a five-leaf clover, which I didn't know existed, but yeah, we, uh, we are blessed with a five-leaf clover today. I'm Dustin Goodall. I'm one of the keepers of Sanctuary. I'm the minister for Sanctuary. I'm also the president for the Northeast Florida Pagan Leaders Coalition. Uh, Sanctuary is a nonprofit group that is open to the community. We really wanted a, a place for pagans to come and to feel welcomed. We do all the holidays. We actually have people come out and do their traditional holidays. So, like, I'm, I follow the Egyptian path, so I do. I try to do a lot of the Egyptian holidays, as well as I do, or we do, um, discussion groups, Reiki shares, book club, all sorts of different things. So we have a lot of fun doing a lot of different events, and we are completely open. So we have a lot of solitaires come out, a lot of new people that are learning about paganism come out. The coalition, the coalition's fun. The coalition is a gathering of all the leaders in the Northeast Florida area. We get together, we plan out different events, uh, charity drives, those kind of things to help improve our community. We work together as a team. 
we have uh, pages for them on Facebook, just uh, Sanctuary Realms of Spiritual Growth and the Northeast Florida Pagan Leaders Coalition. Uh, Facebook is usually the best way of looking us up. Um, also, look up Pagan Pride. It's um, jackspagan.org, which has a link to all this. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed our interviews. I certainly enjoyed going to the Otherworldly Witches' Tea. And until next time, may you blessed be.